So in the next few days, I'm going to do a video about MythCon because I hear the footage will be up soon. And I listened to Thomas Smith's podcast regarding it. And there are plenty of things that I want to address and not really for my own benefit because I don't care about what he says. But before then, I have to really comment on this post because Thomas Smith did nothing wrong. And I want to explain to you exactly why. So he posted a follow-up to a previous deleted Facebook post, which I didn't archive because I didn't think it was in any way controversial. He was listing people who were supporters and advocates for his position within his atheist community, and he was saying how these were good people and he liked them. He wanted to promote them since a lot of eyes were on him, etc, etc. A perfectly noble thing to do, really any time, but especially when such a high profile, and I'm going to be honest, it was a defeat for their movement, occurred. Nothing wrong with this. Absolutely nothing wrong with this. But now he's had to make this follow-up, make this follow-up. And this is just infuriating to me because it's, it's, there is no need for him to do this. He is being persecuted by his own people. He says, hey, it appears my asking for a list of prominent people who don't endorse Mythsis Milwaukee might have been completely clueless. Why? <laughs> Fucking why, Thomas? There's nothing wrong with you doing that. My idea all along was to first thank all the people who are right on this issue. None of you are right on this issue, but carry on. From the beginning, most profusely, which I did in my recording, my plan was to illustrate to Mythsist Milwaukee as an organisation that it wasn't merely the usual suspects who disapproved of them. The problem, Thomas, is that there is a group of usual suspects who have been, frankly, bullying them. And that's how they feel. I'm telling you now. That's how they feel. Your community of usual suspects are bullying these people. Which is why I was invited. Because I will not stand to be bullied. But apparently, this made people feel like he was devaluing the voices of those who were right on from the start. So, what is this? Some kind of communism? You have to drag people down to the lowest common denominator? God forbid some people rise above the herd through merit, because, and let's be honest, we know who those people were. Given that our movement is very white male dominated, something I try to fight by inviting women and voices that aren't heard often onto my platform, the list became way skewed towards the white male demographic. Thomas is apologising because the progressive atheism plus movement is mostly white men like himself. This is disgusting. Thomas, what you have done is accurately describe your own movement by pointing out the people within it. And your movement is so gendered and racialized by this point that this comes across as some kind of crime. This is something that you have to then apologize for, which you then say, I sincerely apologize for how this came across, and I'm reflecting on how I could have done better. Thomas, there is literally nothing you could do better there, mate. There is nothing you can do about the fact that your movement is mostly white men. And there's nothing wrong with that. It is not bad for your movement to be mostly white men. And that's one of the reasons that so many people take objection to it. It's these lenses that you wear that are absolute cancer. Because it has you, it, when you were put in a position of weakness and you should have been given all the support in the world from your community, you have actually been hounded by your fellow progressive activists for pointing out that there are a lot of successful white men in your movement and that they should really apologise for either being successful, white or male. It's fucking sick, Thomas. It's disgusting. You don't deserve this. You do not... You do not need to apologise. You do not deserve this. You did nothing wrong by thanking those people who were supporting you. It is... I mean, I just, I'm just so disgusted by the people around you. And it's not like we have any great love for each other or anything, Thomas, but I personally don't hate you like you hate me, and I can't just stand by and see this and not comment on it, because this, this is entirely the problem. You have been harassed by your own community because you pointed out the reality of your community. I mean, by your own logic here, you need to now deplatform yourself. Give your podcast over to, I don't know, a black disabled trans midget or something. 
find someone at the top of the progressive stack and give your podcast over because ultimately what is the logic for you keeping it you are just one more white male one more privileged white male who has a platform that you are occupying at the expense of someone else every listener of yours could be listening to someone else a woman a black person whatever that's the logic of your movement and you don't have an argument against it this is disgusting thomas and i feel sorry for you i feel bad that you have had to go through this i didn't feel bad on the stage and you were acting like the inquisitor sat at some sort of catholic trial to find out how much of a heretic i was i didn't feel bad for you then because you you were doing that yourself even though that was a consequence of the community you were living in but this is beyond the pale if you pardon the expression this is despicable thomas they are actively persecuting you because of your race and gender to the point where you now have to apologize and bend the knee because you were born wrong do you see the problem that people have with your movement do you see it can you understand what i'm saying try for a second to just engage and i know what you can say yeah but white men are most of the movement okay what's the problem with that well white, white, white men are oppressive are they resign resign your podcast then get out if you're the problem if you're part of your, the problem by your own definition fuck off but the thing is that's not my argument that's your argument i think you should stay i think you should continue to make podcasts to be honest thomas i was kind of enjoying your podcast you usually were quite fair i was genuinely surprised at how adversarial you were i thought you were actually going to ask proper questions i mean i i listened to your patreon only podcast and you sat there going well they didn't want any intellectual arguments well no but neither did you i mean i i actually had come with many notes i put my phone on the side for a reason because i had come with many notes that i was going to go through and actually make some really nuanced and sound arguments drawing from many liberal and enlightenment thinkers who were going to you know i was going to explain their arguments and explain why i agree with them and why i think your movement is violating them but you weren't interested in that and now i see why your your movement is cancerous i don't know how you can't see that i don't know how you can't see how awful this is and not think you know what maybe i shouldn't have to apologize because the existence of my movement contains a lot of white men maybe that's not that, that's if it was the reverse if it was the fucking reverse do you think you would see a black person apologizing because they are part of a black movement that is majority black and the leading voices in that movement are black i mean who in their right mind would expect an apology for this who on earth could ever say yeah you know what maybe they should apologize for that you know maybe they are oppressing the white people in their movement maybe if it's all women maybe they're oppressing the men in that movement it's insane thomas this is honestly i feel so bad for you i know you start to think oh these people don't have empathy but i really do but the thing is i have empathy for the powerless and at the moment you're the one without the power and you're being persecuted by people with power and it's it's sad it's really sad and honestly it really does make me feel for you i know it might not seem like it but seriously that's the reason i'm making this video i don't have to make this video <laughs> you know <laughs> i i don't know what i stand to gain from it but seriously i swear to you thomas if you just like step back and pretend not to be an insectional feminist for a minute and just say right is it right that someone should actually be apologizing for pointing out to the reality of their own movement i mean that's you are you are deliberately and you're willfully giving in to people who want to live with a lie they can't stand the fact that white men just happen to do a lot of work and i'm sorry they do and they deserve their success and it's not at the expense of non-white people or women that it comes i <laughs> just man and to those who are right on from the beginning i promise i hear you and do my best to fight for you thank you for calling me out when i fall short what is it's a white savior complex they can do it themselves women and brown people are not inferior to white men thomas often the difference is really just a choice of lifestyles for example if you ask them why aren't you running a podcast they'll say well i just don't have time i don't really want to i've got things to do i have i do other things it's not my style i don't like going in the public eye maybe they, just ask any individual one why they're not doing it and why they're listening to you and you'll find they're completely salient reasons that are nothing to do with patriarchy honestly you have not fallen short you do not need to apologize and i swear man i'm gonna do videos rebutting some of your points and i'm i'm gonna try not to be mean about it because honestly lies aside misrepresentations aside insults aside 
you do come across as a nice guy. You come across as well-meaning. You are just really misguided. Look at this. Hopefully those who commented on your other post will see this. I wish you, I had saved it. I actually did see it, but I can't remember what they were now because I didn't think it was very important because I didn't look at the comments, to be honest. And I really wish I had because maybe I could have ca captured some of the absolute worst of social justice behavior. But unfortunately, I've missed it. And there you are in the comments apologizing again. I want to strongly emphasize that the point of gathering these statements from organizations and podcasts was not to give them a pat on the back, but to try and drive the point home to Mythicist Milwaukee. I again completely recognize how much I bungled this one, but I want to clarify that what I was trying to do. You didn't bungle it. You didn't bungle it. You just didn't know what you were going into. It's actually not your fault. I knew exactly what your tactics were going to be, and I knew you weren't going to come with any arguments. I knew you were, going to, you were just going to go, yeah, but what about black crime? And then what's the answer? Oppress people? No, Thomas. Your, if we let them be free, then white men will rule everything, was incredibly telling, especially given how you've just come off eight years of a black president. You need to think about the way you view the world. That's the problem. And the idea that you think intersectionality is individualist, I mean, you are literally just collectivizing white men as being superior in the po in the debate and now. And you're apologizing for this. And the other people, and you, you think that's individualism. You're just wrong, Thomas. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't have any ill will to you on this, but you're just wrong and you just won't listen. You're not prepared to engage your critical thinking skills. And you literally are just really upset about one tweet. I don't care that you're upset about the tweet. Now, let's get to the arguments. You couldn't do it. You refused to come down on a point of principle. I said to you directly, let's ignore all this. Let's talk about principles. You're like, no. But look at this, right? The people persecuting you are straight white men. What's this guy saying? Michael Clough. Thanks for resisting the urge to follow the tired script where people get defensive, proclaim one's righteous good intentions, whine about disposability culture and give up. If you were truly seen as disposable, nobody would have bothered to challenge you on it. Yeah, good for you for checking your privilege, Thomas. Honestly, it's just sick. It's absolutely sick. It's a way of making sure that you are adequately chastised for something you haven't even done wrong. For... for <laughs> <laughs> you're adequately chastised because reality doesn't match up to progressive or intersectional ideals it's it's just sick i mean you deserve some self-respect thomas and this post is not it's just sick you deserve some self-respect even after a defeat it's okay to it's okay to lose debate lord knows i've lost a few myself but the point is you show up you do your best which you did and let the chips fall as they may. And afterwards, you can walk away with your head held high. You do not need to start apologizing because your movement is not racially pure. And you know what, Thomas? I'm going to finish this with an open invitation to you to either come on my podcast or to have me on yours, where we can actually talk about the issues rather than sit there and expect moral condemnation to be anything either one of us cares about. Because moral condemnation is not an argument. It isn't a way of trying to prove me wrong. It's just you saying, right, I want to, I want you to, I mean, you actually, in your, I listened to your Patreon podcast, Thomas. You asked me to apologize to you over a tweet I sent to someone else. Just think about how ludicrous that is. That is you demanding control over me. And the answer is obviously going to be no. But it's not an argument. If at any point you want to actually politely discuss the issues, which I went there to do, I had all of my arguments on my phone. You were not interested in hearing them. You were interested in browbeating other people because of the community that you live in. That's the reason. These people, I mean, you said it on your own Facebook page. These people had put so much pressure on you to, to call me out. I'm not interested in your call outs. I, I literally don't care. I don't care. I care about the principles by which you are operating. I care about the arguments that you are making and the data that you are, I was going to say using, but really it's the data that you're ignoring. And this is all worth talking about in a polite and civil manner, which is something I can do even if you cannot. The offer is open and I please encourage you to accept it because we can fix this. We can... <clears throat> Because, like you were saying in your podcast, you want to speak to my audience, and that's fine, because I want to speak to yours. But we can't do that while you're playing Inquisitor and High Court's Judge on a stage and then getting blown the fuck out. 
let's drop the pretenses and talk about the principles.